The film shows the future, in which the world will be divided into two sections. People who live a luxurious life with everything will be in one section, while the poor will be in the other. They will not have anything, not even hospitals, they will get a chance and will be given the facility to go to the other section. The section where they will get everything and will have a good life. They have to clear the test at the age of 20, with which they can go to the other section. And this test was named, the process, only 3% of people are chosen for this test. Now the selected people were sent to the other side. After it, they spend a good life and the people who are not chosen were sent back to the poor place. Then we are told there will be this test again in the morning, the people registered for this test have to go to the quarter. They will be chosen after taking a test, a girl is shown in the participants named, Michelle. There is a device in her ears and she is told that she has to reach headquarters within 20 minutes. The participants in this test all have the same device in their ears, which was implanted when they registered for this task. This device works as an identity for them, they are identified through devices that they are registered. Michelle, moves with her friends and there were many people for giving this test. Now before the test they were worn uniforms then a man arrives who tells them the importance of this test. They have assigned a new employee but the chief doesn't like this girl, she somehow has to complete the order given by the head. The participants of the test were sent to a room and the ones who were not passing the test were sent back. They were weeping because now they will spend the same life again. Michelle, is shown who has asked many personal questions, she tells the boy whom she liked also passed this test. He has cleared an interview but he never returned after it, she feels maybe he is chosen because of clearing the test. The man taking her interview says maybe he wasn't chosen or maybe something happened to him that he will never return. An accident or something, that shouldn't happen to him, he actually wants to see if the girl is depending on that boy or trusting him. Then she asks her to remove the locket given by him as a present and, Michelle, removes her locket. She places it in front of him and on it, this girl was chosen. A boy is shown on another side answering all questions cleverly. All of his family members cleared this test that's why he was happy and there was another boy who failed this test. He says this is injustice, this system is corrupt and with it, a girl is shown who talks less. She was chosen because she was the smartest and most intelligent of the participants. There was a weak boy sitting in a wheelchair as he was physically disabled even then he doesn't lose courage and came for the test. He was chosen because of his courage. There was a lady in the facility saying, there are some groups who want to harm our system. They have sent a man here who will convey everything to them, they caught a man and he tells there is another man. And he is present in the participants. Now they have to catch that man. The group is shown on another side who is against this system. They were meeting and wanted to end this difference of high and low standards. They believe that each human has a right to spend a good life. Their group leader believes that the man they send among the participants will not be caught. He will do his job nicely, in the quarter a man ends himself because he wasn't chosen. And he doesn't want to spend his life like before, everyone was surprised by his act. After it, the chosen people were sent to a room where they have to cross the next round. And their devices were checked here, the same device that will work as their identity. They have to find out if they all are registered or if the man of that group who is against them is present among them. The smart girl who was intelligent sees the stitches on th ears of a boy standing in front of her, they were not the same as everyone had. There wasn't any device on his ear and she says you are a fraud, later, the boy was taken for scanning. This boy was named, Raphael, but he was registered, this girl understands there is something wrong but doesn't tell anyone about it. She suspects this boy, and when the time comes for what they've been waiting for, their test begins. They were taken to a room and many blocks were placed in front of them, they have to make 9 cubes within 10 minutes. The time of the test starts and they start doing their task. Michelle, was assisting the girl with her and her task remained, and time was running out, and the girl she was assisting. Now she helps her. Raffle, was also making his cubes and even steal cubes of the boy near him. Later, the test result is shown the intelligent girl, Michelle, and, Raphael, and the girl helping, Michelle, pass the test. Raphael, comes out, he has stolen the cubes and the intelligent girl also suspects him, everyone was calling him a cheater. He gets into a fight with everyone and they beat him, the intelligent girl comes to him and says I know your registration is fake. Do what I am saying and stay with me so I will not tell anyone about you. If you will not obey me I will tell the head that you are a deceiver. A lady suspects, Michelle, and her friend in the next scene. She was feeling there is someone among them who is with that group that is against them. And the lady says tell me the truth who is the one among you who is with the group. Otherwise, you both will be ended. 
Michelle says in her friend's ear, we will end her. They make a plan after it, and according to the plan, Michelle's friend attacks the lady. But, Michelle, changes her plan and doesn't attack her. She has done this so her friend will be under suspicion. Actually, it was, Michelle, that was with the group against them, she knows the group with which she is working. Is beneficial for everyone that's why she sacrificed her friend. Here, we discover the story of the boy she told whom she liked and came to play game, was actually her brother. She wanted to go to the luxurious section to find her brother, later, the disabled boy is shown. His previous life is shown that his father brought him up even though he was disabled and told him that he can pass the test. He asked him to go to the place where the rich people lived after passing the test and spend his life nicely. The doctor injects him when it was his physical test and he was feeling pain in his legs for the first time. Now the doctor tells him if you will pass the test and go to the rich community you will be treated well. Now they were taken to the next room for the next task, there were four dummies on the table. There were different expressions on their faces and everyone made faces according to themselves. Here, the group has to discover what happened to the lady wearing the blue dress. They start understanding the situation and give their ideas, the disabled boy presents a story in front of them. He says this lady is given poison as she was a guest in this house with her husband and has an affair with this man. The man whose guest she was, and that man's wife, poisoned her. That's why she is sitting peacefully and watching the man whose wife has given her poison because she has an affair with him. The group liked this story but Raphael, doesn't like this story and tells his own story and says this lady has an allergy to silver pots. And everyone is wearing silver jewelry but she is wearing a glass ring and a wooden garland. She is watching the man because he is a doctor, then E takes out a diagram of the human body. Everything was fine but the expressions of the lady weren't matching according to his story. Now the intelligent girl says because this lady is blind and there is no lamp so she doesn't know what is happening there. The story was fine that was told by the intelligent girl and Raphael. Now the game chief who was watching all this asks his employee spy on all this and I will be back. The employee was suspecting her boss and chases him, he is shown moving to the poor community as a beggar. The group was taken to the next task and was given six coins but they were seven and have to decide to eliminate a person. They were given 15 minutes and the one who will move out with the coin, in the end, will pass this task. Raphael, says I have a coin and I want to go out but then a boy beats him and tries to take coin from him. Later, they think why shouldn't we vote? Everyone voted to eliminate, Raphael. But, Michelle, voted for the intelligent girl. Then the girl sees Raphael, that he will support her and he supports the intelligent girl and says the innocent boy should be eliminated. As he can't win but the boy says if I win I can be treated and I will win, later, they decide to leave it all to luck. The employee who was asked to spy on the group was spying on the chief. And he also discovers as he sees the employee coming behind him through a camera. The employee suspects but has no proof. On another side, the group is shown tying everyone a ribbon piece and says the one who will get a small piece will be eliminated. The intelligent girl gets a small ribbon piece and she was eliminated from the game as they move out of the room the last boy discovers he has no coin he discovers the intelligent girl steals his coin when he was talking to the other boy. Even after being defeated, the intelligent girl was chosen for the game, and in the end, the intelligent girl states, I came here to win and I'll do anything to win. This concludes the series.